Today, we're going to be finishing off the electronic water pump install on my NB track car. Now you may remember last time, we were talking about the water pump, we got it all installed and plumbed in, and it was running pretty nicely. Uh, however, we didn't quite finish everything, because there was one key element, uh, the proper wiring. Um, I rigged it up dodgy with the battery to get make sure that it ran, and it ran, and it was pumping fluid super fast actually. However, that was just constant 12 volts always on. And uh, that's not ideal because the thermostat's been removed so that we need to use uh, sort of PWM control on the uh, on the water pump to make sure that it's not constantly pumping full speed all the time otherwise the car will run too cool potentially uh, and it'll also take ages to heat up so uh, obviously in down under here you have to excuse the uh, newly wrapped tubing that was kind of a test idea anyway down under there we've got our water pump uh, and coming out of it is this wiring. Uh, excuse the focus. So this has been run back through the firewall. If I take you inside the cabin now, what we've done is in under here, there's now a Deutsch connector which runs from the uh, other end of that wiring loom through across to my little fuse box that I've got here. So it doesn't look super neat, but it works. Uh, so what we've got, we've got a power source coming out of my little main fuse box, nothing fancy. This came from J-Car, it was probably fairly cheap, but it, look, it works. Uh, we've got a 10 amp fuse running the wiring back through to the pump. Uh, the other thing we've got is the Bartune Engineering uh, little controller gizmo. And so what this does, it's hooked into an output from the ECU. Uh, that output triggers this to run under PWM control. This is effectively a solid state relay, or as Alex calls them, fancy MOSFET, MOSFET things, but I'm just calling it a solid state relay. Uh, there's actually two circuits in here, however, we've just joined them together to sort of load balance them or redundancy or whatever. You could use them for two different things. In my case, we've just doubled them up because, well, we can, I only need the one output. Uh, by using this, we're able to control the pump via the ECU based on uh, current coolant temp. Um, you could use even more clever stuff. You could go and control it based off certain RPMs or certain um, manifold pressures and things or something. Uh, we don't really need that in this case. So this controller board does all of that work for us with the help of the ECU. The ECU is outputting a 12 volt signal to, uh, to this. This then uh, switches that using like a big relay, um, our nice big solid power source straight to the pump. The ECU is now able to control the uh, the pump to target temperatures that we have set. Hopefully, uh, once the car's up and moving, there'll be enough airflow through the radiator that the water pump will just need to pulse on every now and again to keep the, uh, to keep the coolant at the right level or the right temperature. That, of course, is because it is now replacing what the thermostat used to do, and so it's quite important that the pump does its job right. Uh, the, for the first few, few times that we take this car out onto the track now, uh, we'll need to monitor the temps of the ECU, uh, keep an eye on this thing, make sure it's all working properly, and uh, make sure that the engine temperatures are at a set target point that we want. We don't want the thing overheating, we also don't want it overcooling. So, uh, cool little gizmo. Thanks to Alex from Bartune Engineering for building it up. Um, not necessarily explicitly needed for this particular application. You could use these little um, MOSFET boards for other things. Um, but yeah, great little gizmo. They, uh, they do get a little warm. That's sort of necessary or by design. Uh, but even in my little ABS print 3D printed case, it's not going to have any t troubles with temperature. So um, yeah, mounted up here right next to my little circuit boards and uh, fuse box and things. It looks kind of neat. Uh, anyway, 
that's it for this little tidbit and uh, that's the end of the water pump install. The water pump is now done and run, running and uh, yeah, really happy with the result. Well, that's it for the water pump install. It's all done. It's been fantastic to have you here. I hope you enjoyed this sort of uh, interesting, slightly something different electronic water pump. You don't see them around a lot, uh, but I'm really happy with the result and hopefully it works out really well. Uh, anyway, folks, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, as always, you can find us on Beavis Motorsport at Instagram and Facebook and BeavisMotorsport.com. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and you like this sort of content, why not give it a like? If it's your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.